a chosen people, proclaim the mighty work of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, as we gather together and prepare now to enter into our worship, let us begin as we acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the celebration of Easter graciously give to the world the healing of heavenly remedies, show benevolence to your church that our present observance may benefit us for eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the following Sabbath, almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. When the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and with violent abuse contradicted what Paul said. Both Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly and said, It was necessary that the word of God be spoken to you first. But since you reject it and condemn yourselves as unworthy of eternal life, we now turn to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us. I have made you a light to the Gentiles, that you may be an instrument of salvation to the ends of the earth. The Gentiles were delighted when they heard this and glorified the word of the Lord. All who were destined for eternal life came to believe, and the word of the Lord continued to spread through the whole region. The Jews, however, incited the women of prominence who were worshipers and the leading men of the city stirred up a persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them from their territory. So they shook the dust from their feet in protest against them and went to Iconium. The disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. reading from 
from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to Jesus, Master, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak to you I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the work that I do, and I will do greater ones than these, because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today as we continue to read from the Acts of the Apostles, we hear how St. Paul and St. Barnabas are expelled from the city because of their preaching and because of the animosity of the Jewish people who they see, uh, understand that this universal call to salvation has been extended to the Gentile people. And the scriptures tell us that they are filled with jealousy and envy. And so not only are they rejecting the the word that St. Paul and Barnabas are speaking, the word of God, but also they are jealous that the gift of salvation could be gained and given to those who are not children of Israel. And we see at the very end of this morning's reading that the disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit, even after being persecuted and thrown out of the city. They were filled with that joy and the Holy Spirit because they had accomplished proclaiming the truth despite persecution, despite uh, the obstacles that were placed before them. And they were able to bring this message of universal salvation and the gift of eternal life to the people of that region, and many did accept it. As a matter of fact, the scripture tells us today, many were chosen for eternal life. And as we hear the gospel today from St. John, Jesus tells us in no uncertain terms, if you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on, you know him and have seen him. Jesus is reminding us not only of his divinity as the second person of the Blessed Trinity, but he is reminding us that in seeing him, we see the fulfillment of the promise of God and the fulfillment of the covenant that he entered into with Abraham and his children forever. And so as we rejoice in this Easter season with our own gift of salvation that has been won for us by Christ, we are to remind ourselves that this precious gift of salvation is a gift that is offered, that must be accepted, but also in imitation of St. Paul and Barnabas, we must also be agents of proclaiming that truth. We, like them, must be filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to pour out upon us an abundance of his grace this day, and as we continue to live in the joy of this Easter season, let us remind ourselves as we continue to celebrate the great Paschal mystery Uh, that Jesus' words in the gospel are so true. Whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask of anything in my name, I will do it. My dear brothers and sisters, united in faith and fortified by our Savior's love, let us present now our petitions to the Father. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and for all who serve the people of God. May the Lord help them to persevere in defending the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for world leaders. May the God of justice help them in their work of serving people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer for the sake of the gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community, that we who worship at God's altar may be transformed for service in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our sick, especially the hospitalized, the homebound, the suffering and the dying, and particularly those affected in any way by this virus, the Lord may give them strength and health and peace in mind, body, and spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who continue to sustain us in this time of the pandemic, especially our healthcare workers, our first responders, and those who sustain us in society in so many ways, that the Lord may continue to bless them and grant them peace, health, and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for an end to this pandemic and a restoration of our way of life and healing for all who have been affected, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our personal intentions, for those needs listed in our parish book of prayer, and for all those we hold in the silence of our hearts and bring today before the Lord, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Rose Malik, for whom we offer Mass this morning, and for all of the souls of the faithful departed, that they who have died may find eternal rest and peace in God's heavenly kingdom, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God our Father, your Son Jesus Christ came to give us a share in his life. Hear our prayers which we make today through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Father, I wish that where I am, those you gave me may also be with me, that they may see the glory that you gave me. Alleluia. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.